Hey, what's going on, guys? I know it's been a while since I put out a video. I think it was three weeks, but uh, yeah, I've been busy. I had to do some work. Now I'm back, and I got a lot of a lot of catching up to do. In this video, I'll be working on the flash helmet, which is kind of cool. Finally jumped on the flash bandwagon. Uh, finish up the first two season, and now I'm waiting for the third season. But uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Well, let's get right to it. Why don't we? I'm going to spray ED's head with some spray adhesive and put some high tech template maker on there. Now, I ran out of high tech duct tape, so I'm using low tech masking tape. Now that I got half the head covered, I'm going to draw in my lines, and this is what I think the flash looks like. Yeah, close enough for me. I guess there's really no difference between low tech masking tape and high tech duct tape because once I get it all traced onto some cardboard paper, then you're not going to need them anymore. Unless you're one of those people that like to hold on to things. Just got to learn to let go, bro. And now that I have all my templates taken off of ED, I use my magic pen and my magic razor cutter to magically place it all onto this 5mm craft foam. A lot of people ask me where do I get my craft foam from. The only place I can find them is at Hobby Lobby. And if there's not a Hobby Lobby around you, then there's always HobbyLobby.com. That's everywhere. I'm using contact cement to hold everything together. I use barge, but you can always use dab wood. And you can find that at Walmart. And if you don't have a Walmart next to you, then you live in a desert somewhere. But there's always walmart.com, they deliver it there too. You can even get the craft foam from walmart.com. They don't sell them at the stores, but you'd have to order it, which is easy for those of you guys that don't have a car, just saying. I like to work my way outside in, glue the smaller pieces together, and then I'll glue the two bigger pieces together, which is down the center, and then I attach all my little, little er pieces. Damn it. As for the chin, I figured this might be a problem down the road, but I went ahead and glued it together anyways. And then now I'm gluing the nose piece, which is, goes over the nose. So far so funky, and you're probably wondering why it looks so goofy. Well that's because, <coughs> because this flash isn't from Earth 1. It's not even from Earth 2 or any of the Earth, it's from another planet. It doesn't even want to fit over ED's head anymore. Look at that. What did I go wrong? I even had to cut the chin strap off. I'll figure that part out later though. But have no worries. I have a solution. Just apply some heat. You want to make sure it is nice and soft. And then you can squeeze it over Edie's head and your head or... Well, don't, don't put it over your head while it's still hot. That's not right. But once you apply some heat, you'll be able to get it nice and round and smooth with some curvatures. I've already applied some heat on the eyebrow area and I just pinched it together and held it until it cooled down kind of gave it its shape when you do this you want to make sure that your glue don't come apart you just want to hold it until the glue cools back down so it hold itself in place and eventually it looks something like this like that took a dremel and rounded off some of the edges so that it doesn't look so sharp and jaggered but yeah so far so groovy here are some helmet emblems that I cut out on my laser cutter. I uh, didn't cut all the way so I have to use a razor blade and cut the rest of it out. So yeah. So I placed it on the helmet and then I traced out where I'm going to apply my glue. Which I kind of messed up because it's really hard to conceal black ink with red paint. So yeah. Kind of have to deal with it now. It's just cosplay bro. After my contact cement set, it's time to apply the emblem. Now as for the lightning bolt, I went ahead and did two layers which kind of made it bulge out a little bit more. Took a hot knife and I beveled the edges by cutting it in a 45 degree angle like that. You can probably use a Dremel to get your beveled edges. Yeah, you gotta have to have steady hands. Well it's starting to look pretty sick and I'm digging what I'm cooking. I went ahead and cut off the rest of the chin strap thingy. I then want to use some hot glue and glue some elastic to the chin strap. And I'm going to clamp it down with these super modified clamps. Now I'm going to be able to move my mouth around when I'm talking and screaming at people. and ah. <laughs> Normally I would go at it with a couple of coat of Mod Podge, but this time I decided to use red Plasti Dip just because I wanted to. 
Well, actually, the plastic dip will probably adhere better to the elastic. That's why I went that route. I'm going to apply some gray paint over the emblem because yellow will not cover the red. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I figure I'd show you guys how my laser cutter works. This is actually going to be used on my zoom helmet, which is almost the same. Not really. Well, maybe kind of. There is a couple of details that goes on to the helmet, which looks like a black line lightning bolt thingy, I guess. So I cut out some cardstock paper and then traced it on there. And I'm going to use a craft foam straight edge so I can draw some lines. Now, I didn't wait for it to dry and I was moving it around and got some ink all over the helmet where I didn't want it to. But oh well, I plan on repainting this to match the suit itself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, the templates for this helmet will be on my Facebook. Link will be in the descriptions below. I'm going to be working on the Justice League Flash as well. But I uh, figure I'd knock this one out first. Because Season 3 is about to drop and I want to get on it. You know what I'm saying? In this video, I want to give a shout out to Jonathan Perdomo. He took um, my Deathstroke helmet and converted it to PDF for me. So I thought that was really cool. Um, thank you for your contribution to the XP community and uh, oh I did some work on Wonder Woman so expect a couple of videos on that one this week and I also did some work on that guy um, yeah he may take a little bit longer though but anyways I'll see you guys later